Denver 7 Now is sponsored by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Shannon Ogden with your Denver 7 Now update. 24-year-old Alana Chen told her family she was going hiking in Boulder over the weekend. She has not been seen since. Now, Chen's family confirms police found her car this morning, but they won't say where. If you have any information about where she might be, please call police. Well, a seven-year-old boy is finally back home with his family in Aurora after being shot while just playing with toys in his home. Adrian Salazar came home from the hospital over the weekend, but he has a lot of physical therapy ahead. It's a miracle because um, it missed all his major organs, his heart, his aorta, and his esophagus. How it went through both lungs but missed all of those is a complete miracle. You looking forward to going back to school or do you like staying home? I look forward to going back to school. <laughs> Yeah, time to go back to school. Denver police say at least 14 bullets hit his grandmother's house in November. They still have not released a motive or arrested anyone for that crime. Well, they volunteer to help build homes for those in need here in Colorado. And just in time for the holidays, a trailer full of their supplies for the Fort Collins Habitat for Humanity was stolen. About $10,000 of paint and tools were taken. Now, currently, they're working on building 48 homes in the New Harmony Cottage neighborhood. But now with the trailer, missing and, and presumed gone that construction is on hold. It's hard to see something that enables you to do such good work disappear, of course. And I think it's just counter to what we experience within Habitat because we see the best of people. All right, another look at the trailer, white Colorado plates. It has a ladder rack on top. We have all the details on the denverchannel.com. Well, your trips to Colorado's national parks are going to get more expensive, I'm afraid. The Colorado National Monument just announced it will increase entrance fees starting next year. To get in for you and your car, it's going to cost $25. Fees at other national parks are going up as well, among them Mesa Verde and Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. National Park Service says these increased fees will help cover the more than $11 billion of maintenance needed at various national sites. Of course, getting a new toy for Christmas can be very exciting, but now kids can keep that excitement going year round. Today's kids are obsessed with watching other kids open their toys and play with them. But our Nicole Brady spoke with Colorado researchers who say parents are the ones who end up paying the price. It's that time of year when kids make their Christmas lists hoping Santa will deliver. And if Santa can't, then parents may be dealing with this. As if one store aisle tantrum weren't enough, a new study from CU Boulder finds the growing trend of unboxing videos online may be making kids more demanding at home. Yeah. Okay, let's crack it open. These videos show kids, or even adults, opening up toys, playing with them, and reviewing them. In the CU study, 78% of parents surveyed reported their kids regularly watch unboxing videos. The ones that consumed higher levels, higher amounts of time, watching unboxing videos were more likely to ask for those toys and more likely to throw tantrums and show emotional distress if the parents say no to that. Even worse, Gaga Darbatla says watching these videos may fuel an unhealthy level of consumerism in kids at a vulnerable age. Kids don't realize these are basically commercials and that the children in the videos probably got paid to play. The lines between the commercial uh, content and the entertain entertainment content are blurred. Ryan, guess who came? Who? Yeah. The Ryan's World YouTube channel has earned millions for its young star, but his young viewers just think he's having the most fun ever. Gunger DeBotla says parents need to talk about these videos with their kids, explain their motives. Hi, boys and girls. It's Kelsey Cupcake again. It might not put an end to the annual list of demands and the pressure to fulfill your kids' wishes, but maybe they'll grow up with a healthier sense of the real world. Now it's for opening all the surprise toys. Not Ryan's world. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. So, Ryan's World, one more note here. Before you question why his family would be investing in a seven-year-old YouTube channel, Ryan made $22 million from that channel last year. <laughs> we still don't have numbers quite yet for this year. All right, from your First Alert Weather Center, take a look. I'll make this very quick and easy. Nice, 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 and then snow for the weekend. We're still keeping an eye on that one to see how much, but there will be some for this weekend. Buckle up. Thank you for watching this Denver 7 Now update. Download the Denver 7 app for your phone. It gives you breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Shannon Compton.